patients who are being treated for chronic gout should know their level of serum urate. A magic number for many patients is six. Uh, if your level in your bloodstream is much above six, certainly closer to seven, that means it's quite likely that uric acid deposits are day in and day out forming to ice the coating of your joints. And it's this coating that sets you up for those acute, very painful attacks of gout. So when we say this needs to be treated, we need to lower your level of urate, what we mean is we need to keep it way below that level of 6.8 or 7, which means generally 6 or below. So if you're on a urate lowering therapy and you don't know that your urate level is below 6, you may be taking the medicine and it not be doing anything for you whatsoever. So you need to be your own advocate and say, I'm on this medicine, I don't want to have those attacks of gout anymore, I want my serum urate level to be way low than 6. There's an interesting phenomenon which patients also need to know about is when we start to treat gout effectively by lowering the serum uric acid level, that sometimes attacks can happen right at the time that we lower the uric acid. Now, if we treat the patients long enough and keep the uric acid level low enough, those attacks are going to start to disappear. But when we first start the therapy, it's possible that more attacks may happen, not fewer. This just means that those deposits coating the joints are starting to break down and go out of the body. So it's a good thing. Don't stop the medication. Uh, when you feel those twinges coming, and it's already been totally demonstrated that these are attacks of gout, there's a couple of things that can be done. Number one, don't stop the medication that you're already taking for the gout. Number two, there should be a plan to know whether you should take some prednisone or some type of steroid medication or a non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drug. Uh, and if you don't have any kidney disease or problems with heart failure, that's the, probably the easiest thing to take. Even over-the-counter naproxen, which is the uh, the medication that's in uh, Aleve, taking two of those, assuming that you don't have any other problems that should say you shouldn't take that medication. So this does need to be discussed with your physician in advance. But if it's okay to take that first twinge, that's what you should do. Take two Aleve, or if you have a, a steroid dose pack or steroid medication that your physicians give you, start taking that right away. The earlier you start to treat the attack, probably the easier it is uh, to treat.